Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a semester off to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student was murdered at the high school last night. And Daryl Gray, the student council president, found the body. When Aunt Eloise heard, she rushed me right over and introduced me to the principal. He asked if I would try to find out who did it and why. So it's undercover I go. My only contact is Daryl, so I'm off to solve a murder. I'm, I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. something to make this work.
You look like you're going to make an excellent addition to Paseo Del Mar High School student body. I'm Daryl Gray, Renaissance man, short order cook, student council president, and professional escort to pretty new students. <laughs> Do you really think so? <laughs> Definitely. You're amazing. You've got a mysterious quality I find very intriguing. <laughs> mysterious? You seem different from the other girls. I think I'm going, going to enjoy being your contact. I'm here to help. If the police trust me, so can you. I think you can help me. I'm all yours, Nancy. What's on your mind? Who was murdered? A student named Jake Rogers. When I found him, it looked like someone had pushed him face first down a flight of stairs. It was nasty. Tell me about Jake. He wasn't exactly a friend. He came by the diner a few times. Nancy, I hate to leave such a beautiful detective but I've got, I've got a hot grill waiting for me. See you later, okay?
Whoa, whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours tr truly, Hector Hulk Sanchez. How did you know I was new here? Hey, you're talking to the man, the number one football player in the state of Florida. I know all the beautiful girls at Paseo Del Mar, 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 Mar. Are you kidding? Who do you play for? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college, college ball, and then the Miami Dolphins. Showtime! The Manatees? Paseo Del Mar's mascot is a manatee. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little Seiko. Of course not. I know what to do if I come across a manatee. Y yeah, just sneeze and it'll swim away. Seriously, the manatees are a great team at a great school. Everyone is cool, except for a few punks like Jake Rogers. Was Jake Rogers a punk? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to go to go to practice later. I need something to make this work. A new face. Hi, my name's Hal. You sure arrived on a, on a day with a lot of activity. Activity? A murder was committed here last night. Everyone is very stressed out. Stressed? 
I'm studying really hard for exams now. My future as a doctor de de depends on the outcome of these tests. Also, I think the murder has, has caused a lot of tension at school. A doctor? Oh, your family must be very proud. Yes, they sent me here to study medicine. I want to help people who are sick. I also want to do well and make my family proud. Do you feel you fit in here? Most of the students were cool when I first arrived. But there, but, there, but there were a few, like Jake Rogers, who weren't as friendly towards me. Sometimes, I feel lonely and far away from my family. And, and Jake was someone who never made me feel welcome here. Well, how did Jake make you feel unwelcome? I'm I uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please, excuse me. I'm behind in my studies, and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Today, it's totally out of control. Out of control? There are a ton of police on camp campus today. It's wild! Why all the police? Someone found a dead body at school this morning. What happened? I think he was pushed down, pushed down a flight of stairs or something. What makes you think he was pushed and didn't just fall? I heard his face was all messed up, like he, like he, was, he was in a fight. He was always getting into fights. Who was killed? Oh, just this wannabe stud named Jake Rogers. What do you mean? Jake Rogers was a total creep. No, nobody, nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later.
medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane.
What's up, Nancy? What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get a scholarship for college. Lately, he's looking really burnt out. I think the pressure is getting to him. What pressure? Hal is maxing out on course hours this year. He needs to prove himself if he's going to get a scholarship. If he doesn't get a scholarship, he'll have to go back to Japan. That would be a total disgrace for his family. How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine, and drives a Porsche 911. Drives a Porsche and works at a diner? <laughs> that doesn't compute. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. You're wearing a Japanese medallion with a symbol that means crane, and crane is his name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. Hi, Nancy. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes. We've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry, worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. Well, what can you tell me about Daryl Gray? Daryl found Jake's body this morning. He's very popular and a good, good politician too. Just like his father. Like his father? Yes. Daryl's father is former for U.S. Senator, Eugene Gray. I hear he was a great politician, but not a very, very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Talk to you later. See you later, Nancy. How's it going? What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real, a real tough time. Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's our teams. Why do you think she never joined any teams? Hmm. Not exactly sure. Do you know Hal Tanaka? 
that dude is always, always studying. He's a huge fan of mine, real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake Rogers. How was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Heather Hal's house seemed pretty upset. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? Where'd you hear that? I'm as strong as ever. This essay looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker.
What is it you want now? Hope told me money's been tight for you these days. What a dork. Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Now. Later. What is it you want now? Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? I gotta go now. Later. Hi, Nancy. Nancy. Jake knew you copied your essay from that book of English essays, didn't he? Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Well, why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra, extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for, for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, do, do and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doc doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he, he, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Talk to you later. See you later, Nancy. How's it going? Tell me about the robbery at the Drug Depot Pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. I'm not into pushy girls. Girl, do me a favor. Bother someone else. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor, sponsor, sponsor annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser.
How can I help, I help my number one detective? How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Well, I know the guy can scarf down half a dozen burgers at a time. He's the best linebacker ever to play for the Manatees. He also told me he's really psyched to play college ball next year. Manatees? The Seo Del Mar's high school football team. They're number one this year. Here, all because of Hulk. He's their star. College football? Hulk's dream is to become a great college football star and then play for the Miami Dolphins. He lives and breathes football. Do you know Connie Watson? I've seen her around, but we've never had a class together. I don't think she's ever been to Maxine's. Why do you think she's never been to the diner? I'm not sure. She's very private about what she does after school. What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Well, for one thing, his name isn't really Hal. He uses his Hal because his Japanese name is way hard to pronounce. He's an exchange student who, who's, all, who's all study, no play. And he's obsessed with getting a college scholarship. Poor guy. What's wrong with wanting a college scholarship? I feel sorry for him because he's missing out on all the fun of high school. He needs to, to seriously chill. Was Jake interested in judo? <laughs> You're kidding, right? The only physical thing Jake did was to, was, to, was to think up new ways to get other people to do his work for him. What do you know about the break-in at the pharmacy? Well, the police thought it was a prank at fir first because it didn't look like anything had been taken. Then the pharmacist found one particular drug miss missing. I think it was a steroid or something. Hal, Hulk, and Connie were all involved with Jake. He had information that could jeopardize Hal's career. Connie once dated Jake, and Hulk seems awfully touchy about that break-in at the drug depot. In my humble opinion, you either hand the case over to the police or keep, keep, keep pressuring each of them until somebody cracks. Oh yeah, Nancy, I just remembered. Some guy dropped off this note for you. I think it's important. What guy? It was weird. I've never, never seen him before. He just handed me the note and took off. See you later.
What is it you want now? I, I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's, men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. Jake was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Okay, hey, okay. Jake was blackmailing me. Why else would I have gone out with that slime ball? He was cruel. He liked to humiliate me in public and told everyone, everyone I was his black belt babe. Why did you enter a men's tournament when you could have easily won the women's division? The prize money is a lot, lot better in the men's division. It was enough to cover the tuition for college next year. Hey, I'll do whatever it takes to reach my goal. Now I'm going to be the first one in my family to go to college. Whatever it takes? Even murder? Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't kill Jake. Jake was threatening to expose you, get the prize money revoked, maybe even make you lose your black belt. <laughs> Those are a few solid motives for murder. I didn't kill Jake. You can turn me in if you want to. I'm telling the truth. Goodbye. Later, Nancy. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Talk to you later. Farewell, Nancy. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Jake knew you broke into the drug depot. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah, he found out I stole the steroids and bits and dread to turn me over to the cops. Would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. What did he want from you? You name it. Chauffeur, er errand boy, bodyguard. He loved ordering me around like I was his slave. Why did you steal the steroids? I got hurt really bad in a game a few weeks back. Broke four ribs and cracked two others. I had to keep playing even though I was hurt. Needed to, to impress the scouts. And then I started taking steroids. It wasn't worth it because I was still in pain and all my free time was spent playing errand boy for Jake. Errand boy? The, le the last thing Jake had me do was deliver a note to Daryl Gray. It was in a sealed envelope so I, so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl too. Bye. Bye, Nancy. How can I help my number one detective? I saw Jake's tape, Daryl. Daryl, I know he was blackmailing you. You got me there, detective. But, but it didn't have to be like this. I wish we had met under different circumstances. What were you selling? Drugs? Trade secrets? I didn't know what I was getting into. This guy, Mitch Dillon, offered me a way to make some fast money. I needed the cash for school next year. 
So I went for it. All I had to do was pick up a package at the pharmaceutical company. But then Mitch threatened me. So you were a drug runner? Oh, Daryl. But how did Jake find out? I don't know. But Jake was always getting into someone's business. Maybe he overheard a conversation between me and Mitch. All I know is one day Jake stuck a videotape in my face and told me he had enough to put me away unless I paid him off. I, I had no choice but to cooperate. I guess he decided he could get more money out of Mitch. That was, that was a big mistake. Mitch was in a different league than Jake. Mitch killed Jake, didn't he? Mitch is totally capable of it. Did Mitch also leave that note for me? Nancy, you have no idea what kind of danger you're in right now. Mitch Dillon has no nothing to lose at this point. Do yourself a favor and go to the cops. We need to get more evidence on Mitch Dillon. If only we can get him to confess his involvement with Jake's murder somehow. I care about you, Nancy, and wish you weren't involved in this mess. But if you insist, I'll help you catch Mitch. I have to deliver more food to the pharmaceutical plant later. We can try and grab Mitch when I give him the package tonight. See you later. Take care, detective. Hey, Nancy, need something? Connie, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, the case will move a lot quicker. Uh, I wish I could, Nancy. Nancy, I can't take that kind of risk right now. Not with college, just around the corner. If I get involved, the truth about the tournament would be exposed. I'll, I'll never go to college if that happens. Daryl's life is in danger. He really needs your help. This is starting story to get really intense. I don't want to get involved, even if it means I would get the chance to help Daryl. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Hal, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. My future is at stake. I have to make the grades or my family won't continue to pay for my education. I must go now. told you what I know. Listen, my, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. Hulk, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. Sorry, babe. I can't risk getting involved.
you're surrounded. It's all over for you. Dear Dad, case closed and Mitch is on his way to prison. Daryl's recovering just fine and Connie's giving him private judo lessons. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy and Hal got his scholarship. Today, and Eloise got a letter from a friend, something about a television station in death threats. Sounds like another case for Nancy Drew. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Love, Nancy.